Hey guys, this week you have been learning all about the digraph what? CH. What does C and H go together to make? What sound does C and H make? Ch, 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 right? C by itself normally says K, and H by itself normally says H. But C and H look at each other, and the H says to the C, Hey, let's hug together. And the C says, Hey, that's a great idea. And they hug together and they say, Hey, let's make a brand new sound. And they come together and they no longer say K. They say ch, like a choo-choo, like a choo-choo train, right? So CH is the digraph that you have been watching some videos on this week. Last week you did SH. And S and H go together to make a brand new sound. Shh. Boys and girls, these are called digraphs. Digraphs, the two letters go together to make a brand new sound. CH says ch. SH says shh. So I have some things down here that we're going to sort. And if it has a CH in it, I want you to say ch, ch, ch. And you can do your hand like a choo, choo. Like you're pulling a choo-choo uh, train whistle. And if it has a SH sound in it, if the word has an SH sound in it, shh. I want you to put your finger over your lips and say shh. And you can also point and say SH or CH. Okay? Are you ready? All right. CH says, mm-hmm, ch. SH says, shh. Very good. All right, first up I have down here is a beautiful, what is this? A sh sh shell. What digraph do you hear in this, in this word? Yep, SH. So we're going to put it in front of our SH. We're going to put it on this side. All right. Oh, oh this is one of my favorites. Ooh, my mouth is watering already. Ooh, what is, ooh, what is all of this? Mmm, this is what? Ch -ch -ch chocolate. What digraph do you hear in ch -ch -ch chocolate? Mmm, are your mouths watering right now? Are your eyes getting all googly eyed with this chocolate? You want some? I wish I could pass it to you through the screen. Mmm, what digraph? Ch -ch CH, you're exactly right. Did you say CH? Kiss your smart brain. What CH? You got to stand up, sir. Hmm. Oh, what about this stinky old? What is this? Yep, it is a sh sh shoe. What digraph do you hear? CH 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 or SH? Sh. You got it. SH. Ooh, our SH is getting all full over here. What about this little guy? What is this? It's not a lamb. It's a, yep, sh sh sheep. Which one do you hear? CH or SH? Kiss your smart brain if you said SH. SH says sh, like in sh sh sheep. Very good. Oh, it's gonna get full over here. Our shoe, our shell. All right, what about Mmm, a lot of you like to eat this at school on your hot dog or your chicken sandwich or your hamburger. What is this? Goodness? Yep. Catch up. Catch up. Oh, look, I see the word right there. Can you see that? Catch up. What digraph do you see and hear in this word catch up? You got it. C H. Catch up, catch up. All right, catch up. Come on over here by the CH. Oh, here's another little cute animal. What is this? A little what? Ch -ch chick or a ch -ch chicken. What digraph do you hear? Do you hear CH or do you hear SH? Oh, my SH is trying to fall down over here. What do you hear? Did you say CH? Kiss your smart brain. I'm going to put him right on top of that ketchup. 
Oh, there you go, little chicken. Oh, what is... Mm, let me tell you. My daddy loves these ruffle chips. If he knew I was stealing them for this video, he would be upset. No, I'm just kidding. He would. He do, He does love these chips. Do you like chips? Oh, ch ch chips. Are these chips? Mmm. Raise your hand if you like chips. What kind of chips do you like? What's your favorite flavor? I don't know. It's kind of hard. I like tortilla chips. I really do. I love them. And I love some salsa. Mmm, I love to dip them in salsa. I love to go to a Mexican restaurant. Do you? Mmm, I love it. But these are ch ch chips. Oh, let's see if we can find... No, the word chip is not even on here. Well, what are you here? Ch ch yep, you got it. C-H. All right, come on over here, chips. You can stand behind the C-H. There you go. Maybe. Think it's going to stand up? I don't know. It might not stand up. Oh, well. That's okay. All right, let's see what else I got over here. Ooh, what is this? A what? Brush. 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 What do, digraph do you hear in this? Do you hear S-H or C-H? Yep, S-H. Brush. Brush. Where do you hear that digraph? Do you hear it at the beginning? The middle or the end? We hear it at the end. Brush. Brush. We hear it at the end. Come on over here, brush. You can sit with my the sheep and the shell. I could move the shell over here so you can see it a little better. It is very pretty. It's a very big shell. And my sheep and my shoe. All right, there we go. Can you see them? Okay. Yeah, so so. All right, let's see what else I got over here. We're almost done. Oh, do you know what this is? What is this? Do you know? Do you have some of this at your house? We keep ours near our sink. Do you know what it's called? This, this is called dish soap. Dish soap. Dish soap. Hmm, what digraph do you hear? Do you hear a ch or a sh? sound. Dish soap. You got it, S-H. Do you have some of this at your house that you maybe wash the dishes? Oh, I hear something else that reminds me of a dish. A dish. Hmm. If this is dish soap, this is a dish. And what digraph do you hear? That's right, S-H. Let's tap out the word dish. Put your arm out. Let's tap it out together. You ready? D-ish. Dish. Where do we hear that digraph? Do we hear it at the beginning, the middle of the word, or the end of the word? D-ish. Did you say end? Kiss your smart brain. You're exactly right. We hear it at the end of that word. Dish. Very good. The dish comes over here with my S-H. I have one more, and I bet you're going to say keys. But, hmm, keys, nope, that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the thing that holds the keys. What do you call this part up here that holds the keys? Do you know? It's called a key chain a key chain key ch ch chain all right what do we hear do we hear a sh sound or a ch sound key ch ch chain what digraph c h kiss your brain if you said c h we have lots of things that have c h in them and we have lots of thing words that have s h in them boys and girls in your journal you can write c h at the top of your journal along with your name first and last name and your date you can write c h at the top of your journal and you could walk around your house because guess what that's what i just did i just walked all around my house and i found all kinds of things that had s h in them and c h you could do that with CH. You could go on a CH hunt around your house or even outside. Today is a beautiful day. I think, I think the weather's supposed to be pretty the rest of the week. So you could even go outside and find some things that have CH in them, the digraph CH. Make the CH sound one more time. Ch -ch -ch -ch. 
That's exactly right. All right, see if you can go find some things that have the digraph C-H in them. Boys and girls, I forgot to tell you one more thing that I wanted to point out. Boys and girls, digraphs can be anywhere in a word. Some of the digraphs, we hear them at the beginning, like in sh sh shell, right? Sh L shell. We hear that at the beginning. Or in the word chip. Let's tap out chip. Ch ip. Chip. Ch -ch -ch. We hear it at the beginning. But boys and girls, just like we heard in the word brush and the word dish, right? Or I was thinking about the word the word beach. Like I love to go to the beach. Let's stretch out the word beach and see where we hear the ch. B each. Some digraphs can come at the end of a word, like in dish, brush, beach. Or it can come in the middle of the word as well, like in the word ketchup. And you can see it in the middle right there. Look at that. K -etch up. It comes in the middle. So digraphs can come at the beginning of a word. They can go at the they can come in the middle of a word or they can come at the end of a word. So they can be at the beginning, middle or end of a word.